Hey, my loves. Hope all is well. Hope you guys have had a amazing week, okay, and have an even better weekend. <clears throat> Hopefully, you guys can hear me better now. I got a better mic. The other mic, for some reason, wasn't going above the volume of my phone, so I had to get a whole different type of mic entirely. Let's see what the angels have to say to you right now. What would the angels like to say? Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> um, have you guys been going through a difficult time? Have the energy been like super intense? Yeah, I know. That's because your breakthrough is near. Have faith. We have breathe. Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. So you're in the process of releasing the old so that you can step into this abundance period so that you can be able to embrace the new be grateful for what you have at this moment so that you know that gratitude brings in more blessings <clears throat> sensitivity archangel hamiel you are an extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now honor yourself and your feelings so whatever it is you may be feeling at this moment, honor it, trust it, feel it. And if it doesn't feel right, now it's time to release it and let it go. If it feels good, let's, let's live in that moment for a while. <laughs> let's live in a moment where it finally feels good. Also, key words, the moment. We're not worried too much about the past. We're letting go of the past. That's what we're releasing. And we're not focused too much on the future. Because right now is what matters. What you think about and put your energy towards at this moment is what you'll manifest in the future. Angel Therapy, Archangel Raphael, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Call on your spirit team. Call on the archangels so that you can feel safe and protected. Okay? <clears throat> Crystal clear intentions. Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with your unwavering faith. Clear sentience. Archangel Ragio. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they are signified divine guidance. You're being guided right now and you can feel it like it's things that you just feel. Okay. Um, I feel like a lot of you are now starting to tap into your feelings. Um, divine masculine, especially um, divine feminine is clearing out some past energies, past traumas. You both are. You both are literally going through the same lessons, but just um, maybe in different ways and at different times um, with different things. But your lessons will be very similar. Relationship harmony. Archangel Ragio. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So if you went through something with someone, it's being resolved at this time. And whatever that means for you. Okay. Forgiveness is key. Especially with forgiving yourself. I speak about this all the time. But it's very, very important. We have spread your wings. Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect. You are ready to soar. So don't focus about who you may be going through something with at this time. Focus more about on you and what you need to do. Um, that even goes for your divine partner. For some of you, um, I've, I've been getting comments and things about you guys being in a karmic twin flame. You could definitely possibly with, be with a false twin. 
That is for sure. But that is not the divine twin. Your divine twin is not going to try to hurt you or bring you down in any kind of way purposely. And even if they did fall into a dark path, that's not where we at right now at this time. But for now, it's time for you to focus on yourself and your own feelings. That goes for divine masculine and divine feminine. Call on the angels to help you. Um, make sure your intentions are very clear of what you want so that you can bring about exactly what you want and not what you don't want. Career transition. Archangel Shamiel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So whatever is happening for you is for your highest good. It's for you, for you to be able to soar now. Because you may have been playing small for too long and being stuck in a situation where it does not fit your highest quality. Some of you have so many different talents and um, unique qualities that you possess. That's for a reason. That's because it's meant for you to tap into multiple things. You're not just one thing. You master one thing at a time and then you go to the next. Beloved one, Archangel Shamiel, I am helping you with your spirit soulmate. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So Archangel Shamiel is helping you, okay? You could be transitioning from one job to a next from one relationship to a next and in that middle process it's time to love yourself um if you're in that middle process there's nothing wrong with being there okay you you have faith and, and uh love on yourself if you religious praise god if you are just spiritual then focus on right now on you loving you taking care of you nurture your inner child okay and you love on yourself and love uh, the universe and love, move with love while you're waiting, while you're being patient. Because you're not waiting, you're just holding space. But you're worthy to have it now. So believe that you can have it now. Moon cycles, Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. This is why I kept saying, um, make sure that uh, you're doing like your spiritual showers and your spiritual baths. Um, you know, you're doing your rituals, the things that you want to manifest. You're writing it down, especially around now. Notice how around the full moon, um, you may be waking up or even some new moons. You wake up between 12 and 5. Those hours are for you to um, write down and journal. I prefer you write down on a pen and paper. But if you don't have that at, at your disposable, um, write in your notes in your phone or whatever you have to do. Just write down um, some affirmations. Write down your goals, things that you want to achieve, things that you want to manifest. Okay, and write that down daily, especially starting now. You know, the full moon is on the 9th. Today is the 7th. You could be picking up on that full moon energy. You could have been picking it up, picking up on it since about the 1st or a little, you know. But right now, it's very strong, okay? And you could feel it a little after because there's so many portals opening, okay? So don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on what nobody else is doing or what they tried to do. I know that people may have tried to bring you down and may still be hating on you, okay? That's because you're chosen. You're meant to do this. Stay strong. Go outside in nature. Get get grounded. Stay grounded. You get what I'm saying? Because you got big blessings that want to come in. Don't sabotage this, all right? You got angels all around you, surrounding you daily. You are not alone. They're helping you with your feelings, the things that you feel. First of all, be mindful of your thoughts because your thoughts turn into feelings and your feelings turn into things. Whatever you put your emotions towards. Yeah. So we want to manifest positive things in your life. Spread your wings and fly. Some of you are going into a new uh, career transition. Um, for some of you, you may be going from working for someone to working for yourself. Um, it's different for different people. For some of you, you could be just moving all together. What's happening? What's happening this full moon, spirit? What's happening? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. 
Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Religious factors. Okay, some some things you could be going through some di <coughs> excuse me differences with other people. Um, you and your person that you know you've been connected to may have had different religious beliefs. Um, some of you could be uh, religious. Some of you could just be spiritual. You could be two different religions and just don't but have the same beliefs. But I feel like there's something that um, you need to pay attention to when it comes to what you, you have been feeling. Okay? Don't get caught up in a, the deception. Because we you can have some deceptive feelings at this time when it comes to all the things that's happening. Just like you're praying, you know, for peace and love. There's people praying and hating. You know, praying for your downfall. You get what I'm saying? So we, you can have somebody here that has some uh, deceptive feelings or pretended to be one way and really another. Um, yeah, I think that's what, what um, your person may have went through. And I feel like they realized, you know, how they were looking at things may have not been in the right way. This person was lying to themselves about their true feelings that they had for you. Okay, somebody that they were dealing with um, was lying about the feelings that they had. Okay, pay attention right now. Somebody could also be lying about a child. We have children right here and we have release your ex under that. Okay, so for some of you, that's the lesson. Um, somebody lied about a child. Spirit is definitely trying to get your attention. Pay attention at this time. Pay close attention, ask for awareness, self-awareness, awareness of your surroundings, of the things that you're doing. Don't give too much information up. Be mindful of what you're posting and stuff like that. Because if you're a light being, if you're of the light and you are surrounded by darkness, dark people, places and things, be mindful of what you're putting out there. Don't give too much information. For one, it leaks the energy. And you have mimics out here, clones. And for two, um, you do not want, um, you don't want to give them anything to do spells on. Because just like the portals is open for you, they they know the portals are, are open too. So they're going out their way to try to hurt you. There's some people out here that would, would rather go all the way out of their way to make sure you're not good instead of putting that energy into themselves. And loving themselves. <laughs> but we all got a mission here, right? What messages you have, spirit? Yeah, I had these cards for so long. And I still can't bend these things, right? They too thick and big. But guess what? I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to make it happen anyway. That's one thing. Always never give up on yourself. Keep going. Um, you are resilient. Anything that tried to stop you or knock you down, you have overcame. Look at what you went through in the past and how much you overcome. You can overcome now too if you're going through a difficult situation. Okay, just breathe. Seven of Pentacles with the King of Wands. Somebody could be contemplating taking action. There, there could be somebody sitting here waiting for things to come and it just don't seem like it's happening and it's because you didn't take action towards it. For some of you, there's no need to take action. All you have to do is be patient and watch for it to grow because your manifestations are right here. They're almost ready for you to receive. Somebody could be thinking about investing into something that will be fruitful in the long run. Somebody could look at you as a wise investment and want to take action towards you after it had been stagnant for so long. This person could have been waiting for the right moment to take action. 
Yeah, there's somebody that want to work on something that wants to build something. Somebody could see you as a good financial partner. This could also talk about somebody stacking up their money, saving up their money to, to buy a home or to take care of their home situation. Okay, um, somebody could want to build a home with you. Somebody could look at you as a nurturer, someone who has pure intentions, somebody who they could build something strong with, something solid. Give me a second, you guys. Hold on real fast. Just breathe. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. Well, I apologize. Yeah. Somebody could be holding on to something that they may need to be letting go of. Um, somebody could be holding on to their finances or feeling like they need to save. Somebody could be holding on to you um, or holding on to something that needs to be cut off. Holding too tight of the 3D things. I feel like um, for some of you, you need to lighten up because we got playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I feel like whatever you've been through has maybe closed off your heart um, and you could be just trying to look at it from a logical standpoint from all the things that you've been through, but really you're still holding on to things that you need to let go of, that you need to cut off. The Queen of Swords is very logical, very intelligent. She she knows what she's talking about. She's sitting on her throne while she's saying it. Now, the Queen of Swords in reverse is a different person. You know, she could be very nasty, but she's in the upright. So I feel like she has pure intentions when it comes to what she wants to express. She has something that she needs to get off of her chest that she's been holding on to for a long time. Um, I feel like this could be a person wants to come in and express some things that they've been holding on to that they've been feeling for a long time on the 3D. This is their 3D feelings, but they it's been in their head and in their heart. This person is going through a transformation as well. And they want to express that too. This person may come in um, being playful, but they do have pure, clear intentions. This person could feel like if they do come in Especially if they're in a lighthearted energy that you may be like, uh-uh, I'm not playing that, you know, they feel like you could be holding on to things from the past or whatever. But I feel like for the ones who have healed or, you know, gotten back to this space where you have healed enough, I feel like you're willing to, you know, keep it lighthearted and then allow things to open up with time. But, but you will be very clear with your with your words and what you say and what you mean. You mean what you say and you say what you mean. Yeah, somebody is working on their confidence after going through some, some backstabbing betrayal. You know, somebody could be focusing too much on their phone and their electronics um, right now. At this time, they're feeling like they're in a very dark place, okay, and, and needing to have some strength. Can be dealing with the Leo. All signs are here, okay? But I feel like overall, this person is, is trying to, you know, muster up the courage to move forward after going through some hurt. It's like having, having the energy to get up. Some of you may not have had the energy to get up. And get going and get things done because of the, the past trauma that you may have been through. And now it's time to love on you. It's time to take them swords out and cut those people off. That The same people who stuck them swords there, it's time to cut them off. 
completely and focus on healing and loving yourself. Focus on you. Because the more you love yourself, the more attractive you become. You know? And it's okay to be your natural self. It's, a, it's okay to be you. You were taught that, you know, you had to look this way or do this or do that. Be you. And focus on your healing. Focus on your confidence. Build up that confidence that you need to um, get you past to get by it. And another thing, not to worry about what other people have to say about you and what you're doing in life. Because at the end of the day, you have to live with yourself. You have to live with those thoughts. And you're very sensitive to energy. So you definitely need to be mindful of who you're around and who you allow in your space. There's a lot of beautiful things that's ready to happen for you. But it's about opening your heart to receive it. Even after you've been done dirty and, and hurt, you don't close your heart off because you close your heart off to your blessings. Closing your heart off is closing your heart off to your connection to yourself, to spirit, to the higher plane, to the, to the higher power. So you open your heart up, but now you set boundaries for people. And you set boundaries. You don't allow certain people to move and do whatever they want to do. Certain people don't need to have access to you at all. I don't care what nobody say. If your mother and your father did you completely dirty and tried to stab you in your back, then then sorry to say, you have to cut them off. Don't let society say, oh, well, that's still your mother. That's still your father. That's the people who birthed you. And I do say honor your mother and your father only if they honor you. You forgive them regardless. You forgive your family, and your friends, you forgive them. So that you can move on past that situation so that you can drop those burdens of those people who may have hurt you. People who may still be going out of their way to try to hurt you, to try to bring you down, to try to play mind games. Because they didn't invest so much time into you that they don't even know how to fucking be themselves. Excuse my language. And I, that's another thing. I've been learning to not curse because, you know, curse, cursing is cursing, you know, and, you know, I grew up cursing, cursing words, curse words, words, spelling is spell words. I said spelling, spelling is um, spells, cursing is curses. And, you know, I, I've had to heal that. You know, once in a while, as you see, it's, it may be a slip up, but I'm definitely working on that part. That part, yes, I'm being very mindful. I'm, I'm being very aware. I take accountability for myself and the things because I'm still growing and learning just like the rest of us, you know. But at least I take accountability. That's the main thing, taking account accountability for your actions, you know. So let's see what else we got going on. We got the Hierophant and the Hangman. Well, it's called the Hang One in this deck. Okay. The Hierophant and the Hang One. All right. So this could talk about somebody finally seeing things from a higher perspective. Somebody may have taken the time to talk to a spiritual leader or a spiritual advisor. Somebody here is a spiritual advisor and now is finally tapping into their higher self and their true calling. If not, this is what this person is intending on doing after seeing things from, from a different perspective. I feel like this person was seeing things wrong. And now this person, you or your person or the both of you are now taking your time to figure things out on your own. Learning to love yourself, finding out your own knowledge, um, you know, seeking your own knowledge, things that really resonate with you. Because I feel like it's a lot of things you had to unlearn. There's a lot of things that you just didn't know. You did not see. You could not see clear. You were confused. This is why it's important to get grounded. Go outside, sit on the steps just for a few minutes, you know. Soak up some of that fresh air. Take a walk. Whatever is best for you, 
at this time so that you can become your best self. Eat healthier, make healthier decisions. I feel like somebody is now making healthier decisions after not seeing things for so long. They could not see clear at all. Somebody could be thinking about marriage and high level commitment and what that what does that mean for them? They could be focusing on their finances at this time very strongly, okay? You may not see this coming. Someone may be about to call you. Um, I feel like they could be juggling at this time. It could be you and another person. It could be them focusing a lot on work and trying to stack their money up after taking some type of fall or loss or a career change had to go through a career change and now they're like stacking up their bread but this person is feeling like they don't have balance at this time they could be balancing the dark and like light energies somebody wants to express something to you but they may not know how to say it or what to say exactly or how to come off. But they do have clear, pure intentions. They just don't know what to say and how to say it yet. But we have justice here in the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. First of all, we're in Libra season right now, okay? There's a new beginning that's available for you right now, this month. I say that. I'm about to show you why I say that. Hold on. I say that because looky here. Look, look what we have here. The Ten of Cups. The happily ever after. The rainbow after the storm, okay? The rainbow after going through so many toxic emotions, if you were going through so many negative emotions, especially after going through um, this Ten of Swords, the betrayal and heartbreak from people that you trusted, Ten Ten, now it's time for you to reap this beautiful energy that's here for you that you don't even see coming. You don't even see this certain phone call coming. You may not even see this new beginning coming. I feel like some of you are looking for a savior when you are the savior. Spirit sent you. You is the savior. You know what I'm saying? So it's time to get yourself up. Dust yourself off. Dust that, that dirt off your shoulders. Take that weight. Drop, drop all that weight of the past. Stop carrying that shit around. It can't go with you. Your ego can't go with you. Justice is ready to be served. Communication is coming in. They want you to speak your truth in the most balanced way. Stay balanced. Through this whole process, okay? Don't leave your throne for no one. The universe is gifting you a new beginning. This is your karmic justice after going through so much and you never gave up on yourself. This is something solid that you could touch and you can feel you're being presented with it. This is a gift from the universe, from your higher self, okay? Somebody, you could be having a gift of marriage. Somebody could be working hard to to come marry you they view you as the queen of pentacles somebody is balanced because whether you are earth sign or not you can have earth in your chart very strongly mm -hmm. but there's a lot of healing that's being done at this time or needing to be done this is like after a major battle um the four of swords talks about somebody going to war and coming back and, and made it back home they went to war, you know, and then they build a coffin for themselves just in case they don't make it back. But as they're making it back through the war, not even knowing if they were going to win or lose, they won. You won the battle and now it's time to rest your mind, rest your thoughts. Don't allow your thoughts to overpower the bigger goal. And the bigger goal is that you made it through. So now it's time to release the feelings of what other people feel for you and what they feel about it because it's a lot of lost souls out here that are still sleeping. They cannot see what the big picture is. They they are not tapped in to their higher self. They do not understand what this what your divine purpose is. Only you are meant to understand you. 
So, so what? Some of you could have been in situations growing up before and now. You could have been in situations where you just didn't fit in. It's hard for you to have small talk with people at this time because you're just on a different uh, level. Not saying you're better or anything, just saying that you don't you don't resonate with a lot of the old people, places, and things that you once resonated with. And a lot of you prefer to be alone. Unless it's with someone that's like-minded. Be very mindful of who you're around, who you got around you at this time. Yeah, look, somebody's in love. King of Cups, the Emperor. This person is in love. This person is healing. They're healing their heart. They're healing after going through a big battle, after going through heartbreak, after going through betrayal. And now this person is learning to love themselves and heal themselves. And they're looking straight at you too. They may know that you needed to heal from the past things, things that they may have done when they were in a dark place. But this person could have been very stubborn. But let me tell you something. This person takes charge of the things that they need to do in their life. The emperor is, is bossed up. The emperor gets shit done. The emperor is a multitasker. Have multiple things going on that they're handling at once and all of it is getting handled. So this person is ready to handle their business. They may be a little stubborn with coming forward, but first they needed to walk away from something that was no longer serving them. I feel like this could be happening. 10-8 is a date. That's Saturday. Somebody is walking away. Look at the full moon. Somebody is walking away from something that they once invested a lot of emotions into. 